Yeah. So basically, uh, on March 5th, we, we held an event at our store where we had, I think, over 40 people. We were going to have 80, but it was the first time that any sort of kind of inclination of like, hey, wait a minute, this is a real serious deal came about because we're like, where's half the people that are supposed to be here? And we got apologies on the day for, you know, sorry, my company said we can't travel because of, of COVID. And literally, it was like overnight, we went from rocking and rolling. We had 10,000 pounds of bookings of events for the months of March and April, you know, for which was amazing. We had one of our biggest corporate events we were going to do with uh, Tim Peak, uh, who's an uh, astronaut here in the United Kingdom. We were, you know, it was rocking and rolling. And then overnight, we, our revenue dropped by over 90%. It was just, it was like that. So moving into 2019 and, and also for, cause you know, working in the retail and hospitality industry, which a, a number of your customers are, are other panelists. I'm sure you've experienced lots of different things. We kind of just didn't know what to do. We were like, well, wait a minute, you know, what, how is this going to work? You know, we, we had not really, even though we had visions to do digital work, we hadn't really spent a lot of time on that yet. That's not where the main part of the business model was going you know, into the, the first lockdown, March, April, we did two interesting things that I think that, that I think are worth sharing. The first was, and this is going to sound silly, but a lot of people couldn't get eggs and a lot of people couldn't get flour and a lot of people couldn't get these really simple things like toilet paper. But guess what? We could because our supply chain was for the, you know, was primarily dominantly, you know, the restaurant industry, which suddenly just shut down. So we could get this stuff in mass quantity. So we started a grocery store and we did a grocery store for a month. We, we focused specifically on people that, that really needed help and got a whole bunch of volunteers together. And we basically ran a grocery store for a month until the, you know, the supply chains could kind of work out that, uh, you know, you could buy eggs again at the grocery store. So that was not a long-term objective of ours. So that was one thing we did that was, that was very interesting. And frankly, you know, it kind of helped, you know, tick the business over a little bit, uh, which is interesting. The second thing that we did is we basically just started going digital. So everything that we do in the store, we have been slowly converting all of that into how can we do that now uh, from afar? And so we basically started buying camera equipment, all sorts of things that you would just never think, literally not even in our in our minds in, in February and March became like the number one thing that we were working on is how do we how do we convert what we have so that we can get and we can still provide space experience to people. And so it's been really interesting to see how that growth has happened in since then and to, to where we are today. It's, it's it's almost like, wow, we it's not a different company, but it's definitely a more flexible and more uh, we, we can deliver in so many new ways that we couldn't before.